Today we're going to be looking at how to convert kilograms into pounds. Now, if you're unsure of how to convert kilograms into pounds or you need a little refresher, then this is the video for you. As we can see here, we're being asked to convert 43 and 4 tenths of a kilogram into pounds. And the conversion that we're going to use to convert kilograms into pounds is that one kilogram is equal to two and two tenths of a pound. So for us to convert our kilograms into pounds, we're going to multiply the value of our kilograms by two and two tenths. So for our problem here, we're going to write it out. We have 43 and four tenths times two and two tenths for our conversion. Now you might be wondering, how exactly am I going to multiply these decimals? Well, whenever we're multiplying decimals, we're going to multiply this problem as if the decimals don't exist and then add them back later into our answer. So we're going to multiply 434 by 22 and then add the decimals back into our answer later. So let's start out by multiplying our ones place by the top number. So 2 times 434. Well, 2 times 4 gives us 8, 2 times 3 gives us 6, and lastly, 2 times 4 gives us 8 once again for 868. Now we're going to put a line through the ones place, and then we're going to multiply by our tens place by dropping a zero to the line down below, and then multiplying by our tens place, so 20 times 434. 2 times 4 gives us 8, 2 times 3 gives us 6, and lastly, 2 times 4 gives us 8 for 8,680. Now we're going to add these partial products together. So 8 plus 0 gives us 8. 6 plus 8 gives us 14. So we're going to write the 4, carry the 1. 1 plus 8 gives us 9. Plus 6 gives us 15. So we're going to write the 5 and we're going to carry the 1. And then 1 plus 8 gives us 9 for 9,548. Now we need to add our decimal back into our answer. As we can see here in our original problem, we had one digit and two digits to the right of the decimal place when we started out this question. So we need to make sure that our answer has two digits to the right of the decimal place, which just happens to lie between the five and the four. So when we convert 43 and four tenths of a kilogram into pounds, we get 95 and 48 hundredths of a pound. So hopefully by now you understand how to convert kilograms into pounds. Help make math less complicated by smashing those like and subscribe buttons. As always, enjoy today's math journey.